Teresa can make some more food. All right, so we're going to start uh, with uh, over here, number three. We're going to start with removing the sake bone. Now, you guys are all, you guys have done this at least one time, at least most of you have. So it's maybe a refresher for you. But uh, remember, we want to take this bone out here. Okay, if you notice, is on the top here is a red spot with a bone. You got to wiggle that bone, and you see on the inside where is that the round the bone socket is. See that? That tells you where it is. It, approximately nearby that run. So, so basically, we have the, the socket and the, the ball of the, the bone. We want to remove this, this socket away from the bone. All right. So there's this this, this uh, oblong shaped bone that we want to trim very carefully around so close to the bone. <laughs> the bone comes all the way socket, And there's like a tendon that goes right to the ball of the bone. Once it's around the center loose, here. You're going to be able to yeah, pull this away a, a little ball. bit, that, that bone, and then you're going to want to cut between that socket and the, the bone. <laughs> like this comes down this way. Yeah, place. follow it around. It's a scary thought, Elliot. How we lost the first two fingers. <laughs> Okay, so it goes all Wait, the way. I've got all this bone here too. Put on, put on this yeah, cut around it. It's gonna, yeah, like that. It's going to flange out there. Okay, because so I got one on this side too. Yeah. Watch your fingers. I know, I know. Now, just, 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 so just trim along this. How many times have you had someone cut themselves enough to take it a towel?